world has become accustomed to Iran's growing nuclear and missile programs, often met with criticism and concern. However, a less publicized development further raises the stakes, Iran's acquisition of cruise missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Prior to the collapse of the Soviet Union on December 25, 1991, Ukraine, the USSR's second most powerful republic, was the custodian of one-third of the Soviet Union's formidable nuclear arsenal and strategic bombers. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Ukraine inherited a vast stockpile of weapons, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and KH-55 cruise missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. With a total of 1,068 KH-55s, Ukraine possessed a significant portion of this potent weaponry. While 581 of these missiles were transferred to Russia, the remaining 487 were destroyed under the watchful eyes of American inspectors on Ukrainian soil. The story, however, took a dramatic turn in 2005 when the Financial Times published a report alleging that 12 KH-55 cruise missiles, capable of delivering nuclear payloads, had been clandestinely transferred from Ukraine to Iran and China. While the Ukraine confirmed the existence of this illicit deal, Ukrainian authorities vehemently denied that the missiles were equipped with nuclear warheads. However, this denial did not quell the concerns of various defense experts, who raised the possibility that these missiles might have been secretly fitted with nuclear warheads due to the lack of accurate records of the warheads' whereabouts following the Soviet Union's disintegration. The alleged sale of these high-end missiles to Iran, a country with a history of pursuing nuclear ambitions, sparked widespread alarm and condemnation from the international community. The Ukrainian government's handling of this sensitive matter drew criticism for its perceived lack of transparency and accountability. The government's initial denials and subsequent attempts to downplay the incident further fueled suspicions and undermined confidence in its commitment to non-proliferation. The KH-55 missile was developed in the 1960s when the Soviet concluded that nuclear-armed subsonic cruise missiles could be as effective as more expensive and complex supersonic cruise missiles. Work on a new nuclear cruise missile with a range of over 2,000 kilometers began in 1971. Testing of the U.S. ALCM air-launched cruise missile increased the demand for its deployment. Finally, the first flight of the KH-55 occurred in 1978, and production began in 1981. The first production model of this cruise missile, aka, Kente, had a range of 2,500 kilometers. The initial version of the missile had an accuracy of about 150 meters. Later, two other versions were produced, KH-55OK with optical guidance and KH-55SM, or, Kent B, which had extra fuel tanks to extend range to 3,000 km and improved accuracy. The KH-555 or, Kent C, is a conventional variant of the KH-55. The nuclear warhead has been replaced by a 400 kg unitary penetration or submunitions warhead. This variant was introduced in 1999 and entered service in 2000. KH-55 family can be launched with a booster in the ground-based version and from Tupolev 295 ms and Tupolev 260 bombers in the air-launched version. Over time, additional variants of the KH-55 missile were developed for both domestic and export markets. In addition to the nuclear-armed versions, conventional variants with reduced ranges of 300 and 600 kilometers were developed for export. Russia has also developed and deployed stealth versions of the KH-55 missile, further enhancing its capabilities and operational flexibility. These stealth variants, known as Ka-101 and Ka-102, incorporate advanced stealth technology that makes them more difficult to detect and intercept by enemy air defenses. However, Russia is not the sole producer of this missile. Following the smuggling of KH-55 missiles to Iran, a project known as Meshkat was initiated. Under this covert project, Iran began developing air-launched, sea-launched, and ground-launched cruise missiles based on the KH-55 missile. The outcome of this endeavor can be seen in the Sumar family. Currently, this family encompasses Sumar, Talaya, Haveza, and Asif. The Sumar cruise missile can be considered Iran's first attempt to reverse-engineer the KH-55 missile. The missile was introduced in 2015. Sumar is a ground-to-ground -ground cruise missile and uses a solid fuel booster for launching from ground platforms. 
The range of this missile has always been a matter of discussion. Different figures have been given in this regard, but most media have announced the range of this missile to be around 2,000 kilometers. However, Iran announced this missile has a range of 700 kilometers. The second Iranian attempt is the Haveza missile. This missile was unveiled on the 2nd of February 2019. The Haveza, like its smaller brother, is a ground-to-ground -ground cruise missile. This missile has a range of 1,350 kilometers and has the ability to evade radar. The most important difference between the Sumar and Haveza missiles is their engines. The Sumar missile is powered by an unknown turbojet engine. This engine is thought to be based on the Russian R95-300 engine, which is a high-performance turbofan engine that can produce up to 12,000 pounds of thrust. The Haveza missile is powered by the TOLO-U4 engine. The TOLO-U4 is a turbofan engine that was developed by the Iranian Aerospace Industries Organization. The engine is based on the French Tri-60 engine, which is a smaller and lighter engine than the R95-300. The third member of this family is the Talaya missile. The Talaya plays a different role. This missile has appeared in the anti-ship role with a range of 1,000 km at the time of unveiling, which has reached 1,400 km in recent tests, and a plan is underway to reach a range of 2,000 km. Equipped with an adaptable launch system that supports both mobile and stationary platforms, the Talaya Naval Cruise Missile boasts a state-of-the-art guidance and navigation system capable of dynamically updating its target coordinates mid-flight. This remarkable combination empowers the Talaya to deliver devastating precision from unexpected angles, evading hostile air defenses and striking with unwavering effectiveness. The fourth and final member of the family unveiled is the Asif Cruise Missile which is a type of air-to-ground cruise missile with the ability to be launched from the Su-24 fighter jet. The range of this missile is announced to be 1,500 kilometers, and no other information has been announced. Iran has always emphasized the peaceful nature of its nuclear program, and there is no evidence of nuclear weapons development in the country. However, in general, if Iran ever moves towards the production of nuclear weapons, the Sumar missile family would inherently have the capability to carry tactical nuclear warheads.